Hi, good morning. <laughs> oh my goodness. My ponytail today, it's just not having it with me. I think it's me. The problem is me. Um, it looks just not great. And that's okay. And I need to stop touching it. I am about to head to the gym. Oh my god, I can't stop looking at my hair. <laughs> I'm about to head to the gym. And I'm wearing my Power Hold leggings from Fabletics. They are the bomb. I'm going to put a little link in my description if you want to try out their, you know, two for whatever legging thingy. Two for 27? Yeah, I've been using Fabletics for the longest time ever. I don't even remember anymore. But um, I feel like everyone needs a good set of Power Hold leggings because they're just so comfortable. They, like at your like hip line so that it doesn't fall down and I'm going to be doing a little bit of legs today so I want to make sure I don't have to keep yanking my pants up because that makes me so annoyed. Um, before I go to the gym I'm going to put my little ankle weights on and a resistance band and I'm going to do a little bit of a um, muscle activator here at my apartment and then I'm going to go to the gym probably do a little stair stepper um, and then some like weights and maybe a little bit of abs too. So. Let's do it. This week I have the craziest week. I have two clinicals, an ICU and a rapid clinical, and then I have to get that paperwork done before I can start studying for both of my exams next week on Monday and then on Tuesday. And I had a midterm yesterday. Today's Tuesday, the 2nd of March. It's a new month. It is gonna be great. I figured why not bring you guys along with me, even though I literally why does my hair do that? Hey, it kind of looks better over here. I should have started over here. Okay. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Where are those shorts from? <laughs> you know, Target. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Okay, I ended up only getting to do the stair stepper for, and I did it for longer than I was originally going to, um, because my class is at 10 and it's 9.06 and I just didn't want to risk being late or feeling like I was rushing. So I'm headed out now. I think I'm gonna eat something and then um, go to my class. Okie dokie, I washed my face. I washed my body off a little. I blow dried my hair so it's not as crazy. Um, slash it looks like I didn't just woke up, wake up and go to the gym. What is English anymore? I don't know. I'm gonna make a little breakfast burrito. And then I'm going to go to class. Oh my God, it's 9.20. <laughs> I got my hydro drug, I got my liquid IV, and I got my breakfast burrito when we're ready to go to school. Guys, I accidentally printed my slides wrong. So it's like one per page and I just don't need that. But um, here we are, I am at class. I ended up being 20 minutes early. So I, I could have done so much with this time, but here we are. Um, I don't know what's happening this week at our building, but like it's so busy the entire, like, whoa, again, English. It's been so busy all day, every day. Like yesterday, there weren't any study rooms open and um, I really don't, good morning. I don't know what's going on. There's a lot of scrubs happening. So people are obviously doing something, but I don't know. God. People keep walking by me. Really well. You slept really well? Yeah. Look who's here. <laughs> I forgot I was vlogging. <laughs> so I had basically a whole day already. And um, pretty, it was pretty much just class. And then we got snacks and we've been in this room since mm, so what time did we get down here we started like right after class so it's like gotta be like noon 30 yeah noon yeah and uh it's now 4 15 so i'm very tired but it's fine we're making it we're learning about some more oxygenation stuff right mm -hmm. yeah I don't know if I can see. I'm just saying hi to my viewers. Okay, what did she say? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, she's just vlogging. Why? For you. 
Titel. Ich bin Rosa, diese Frage. Ich bin Frage. Wir haben Pasta und Sausage und Garlic Bread und wir gonna hang out. Cause we gotta, we gotta stay sane somehow. <laughs> yeah. You what? I'm going outside. Okay, good luck. It's cold. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Ah. <laughs> good morning. It's 4.50 a.m. We're gonna leave here in about 30 minutes to get a coffee and then pick up our other friend to carpool to clinical. Um... And then we'll have a full clinical day. I'll be in the cardiothoracic ICU. I probably won't be able to show much of anything again um, because it's a hospital. So we can't be, we can't be showing off people's personal information. It's illegal. And I'm not trying to lose my license before I get it. So anyways, we're making cinnamon rolls right now. And last night, because we made pasta, we're using the leftovers for lunch today, which is always a great idea. So, and it's freezing outside, which I was not, I'm never prepared for. So, we're just gonna, we're just gonna power through, power through. Today was insane, so we got canes for dinner. Good morning, it's another clinical day. Um, Yesterday, there was a small clip that I have of just a bunch of nurses lighting a wall, and um, that was called an honor walk. We got to stand and honor a um, gentleman who was brain dead and donating his organs, and so they were flying him to another city, and um, they walked him down the hallway, and it was really beautiful and emotional, and it was the first time I'd ever seen something like that, and I did, in fact, cry like a baby which is completely okay because it's great to show your emotions. And I think that I was just, it just hit really hard when you see family as well. Um, and they've obviously experienced a massive loss and it's just sometimes you realize your humanity a little bit more than others. And I'm very thankful for that um, patient because they are saving so many lives. Um, and if you can, please register to be an organ donor. That would be amazing. People need your insides when you're gone um, and can't use them anymore. So anyways, we're on to a rapid clinical today. I'm a little nervous, um, but it should be cool. If nothing else, I get to learn a lot from some really smart, amazing people. So I can't wait. Just found out I made the Dean's List for last semester. Um, I am an hour early to the point where there is nobody in this parking lot, which is not normal because there's so many of us here. Um, so I guess I'm going to go in there and do some paperwork because for my school, we have paperwork for each clinical. Um, it does suck. So that's cool. Um, and so I had an ICU yesterday, which is notoriously hard paperwork. And then today I have a rapid. So my paperwork is extended a day to where usually it's due today at midnight, but because I have a clinical today, it's due tomorrow at, my, at midnight. So um, I'm gonna start working on it so I can hopefully be done with it. And maybe even tonight, I, which doesn't sound logical, but um, rapids aren't full days because apparently it's not allowed. So I think I leave here at three. Um, so after three o'clock, I'll get to go home and probably take a nap and then finish up some paperwork and I'll probably work on it at lunch as well. And then tomorrow I get to do whatever's left of my ICU paperwork and then my rapid paperwork, which isn't as hard. So that's always nice. Is there anyone here? No, they were going around somewhere else. It's fine, I'm just, I'm just afraid of the dark. I'm gonna use my phone flashlight <laughs> it's not that dark i'm breaking out do you like this on my lip cool oh my god i'm so tired mm, espresso. i can drink as much of this as i want 
I'm probably gonna fall asleep standing up today. get to eat on my um, shift so I'm gonna eat now and yeah it was a very interesting day um, I'm really glad that we get these experiences I think it's really really neat that we get to shadow um, rapid nurses so very thankful and excited to just take a couple minutes to breathe I ended up falling asleep for a couple hours and now it is 8 45 and honestly i'm gonna go back to sleep i did a lot of my paperwork um today for my rapid clinical and i got a chunk of my icu paperwork done so i'll probably get i'll probably be able to get them both done tomorrow and then i can just study um the rest of tomorrow and all weekend for both of my exams on Monday and Tuesday and I am not looking forward to them because the the exam I have on Monday is notoriously hard it's our pathopharmacology um exam and it's the first one we have it's module A and B so it's two whole units in one exam and it used to be a group exam and then when COVID happened we couldn't obviously take things in groups anymore and now it's the same exam but it's not a group exam so that's just a little stressful. And um, historically people have gotten 30 points back, like stuff like that. So it's just it's just one of those things where going into it, you just feel defeated already, um, which is exciting. So, but I know I'm pretty good at healthcare. I got a good, I got a B on my first exam. So I set myself up pretty well. And hopefully with this, module I can also do well because um, a lot of the stuff on the exam like um, ventilation settings and patients with um, kidney issues stuff like that mobility issues um, I'm seeing a lot at my clinical rotations so I'm actually getting the hands-on experience after the classes where we learn about it like on paper and the professors have been really awesome about saying like hey this guy's got a chest tube come look at it and um really going over hemos and pneumothoraxes and stuff like that so that's really exciting and because I had my rapid today I got to kind of go over some of the emergent meds um cardio meds stuff like that for the pathoform class so Anyways, that's just a whole lot of stuff that y'all don't really care about. Um, unless, you know, you're in UMHB's nursing program and you know exactly what I'm talking about. And then you're kind of like, oh my god, yeah, I'm also stressed. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm probably going to go to bed here soon. I'm just going to watch um, a couple YouTube videos and, like, decompress a little bit. And then I'll be up early to go to the gym tomorrow. And, um, yeah, I locked myself out of my apartment earlier because I left my phone in here because I was just running to my car real quick. My ID card wasn't in my wallet because I had worn it at clinical. So I just like stood outside for a while. So, but now we're safe inside, so. Good night. Good morning from me, my glasses, and my bowl of Greek yogurt, granola, cinnamon, and honey. It's delicious, by the way. Um, I'm up a little early because I went to bed a little early and got some good sleep last night, which I needed. And I'm going to go to the gym, I think, and then start paperwork. So it's Friday. Um, I have two days till my exams. And honestly, I feel a little bit better. I think all week I just thought it was Friday. And so I was like, oh my gosh, I only have two days like all week. So actually being at a real Friday and realizing I have the whole day ahead, to, ahead of me and the whole weekend ahead of me, I'm feeling a little bit better. So... Hopefully, things go well. That looked so weird and I hit myself in the face. Hello. I ran a mile and now I'm just walking um, to try and keep my heart rate up and like stay outside for a little longer. Um, it smells good out here. I feel like someone's barbecuing. Anyways, um, I need to go study. There's so many bugs out here. One just flew into my shoulder, another one just flew into my ear, and it actually hurt, and I don't know why. 
Okay, I'm gonna turn around now. Off we go. Back to the apartment. Off to, off to do paperwork. I'm gonna sit outside at Starbucks, I think. And, um, just try to focus because <laughs> it's not happening well. It's not been going well today. Just submitted my paperwork, finally. We're enjoying the great outdoors. It's finally a nice day. It's actually been so pretty, whoa, so pretty outside today. And we were gonna go to the pool, but then um, I was a little late because I finished my paperwork finally. <laughs> and then we just did it. We've been sitting outside for a while, just chatting because that's important for your mental health. And yes, we're talking about mental health. Um, do you wanna get Indian food? Yes. Okay, we're gonna get Indian food for dinner. I'm so excited. There's a place over here that I got last summer and I keep think it closes at nine. I might close down. <laughs> Why? Oh no. I'd be so sad. Um <laughs> like like how I know what time it closes. Right. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's so at nine. Close at 9 30. No, we're fine. <laughs> we're good. <laughs> um we're gonna get Indian food because that's also good for your mental health. I've never had it. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. It's so yummy. Okay, we're going to order stuff and then hang out a little bit because stress levels are bad for you. Anyways, we're talking about how um, I've gained a lot of weight and I feel as though depression might have something to do with it. So, <laughs> clean and quirky. Whoa. <laughs> we ended up not getting Indian food, but I have chicken nuggets instead. Um, I'm going to try to do a little bit more work before I go to bed. I have to be up early <clears throat> for a little um, photo shoot thingy for a nursing clothing line. So I'm um, doing that for Haley's boss. And then I'm going to be studying all day tomorrow and all day Sunday. So let's see what we, let's see what we can get done. Good morning. I'm a little behind because all this hair just takes 80 years to curl. But we're off. What? Oh, <laughs> it's so cold. All right, we're gonna grab a quick bite to eat and then I'm gonna go back to the school and study my entire life away, so, yay. Oh, hey there. <laughs> I keep seeing Emily while I'm driving. <laughs> We just got back from Chowich, from Chowichy Chowich, and we're gonna go on the walk. Happy International Women's Day. If you know a woman, say thank you for just existing. <laughs> wow! What you got? I'm growing. Growing <laughs> little flowers. <laughs> Don't forget to water your plants, people. As it turns out, tomorrow is International Women's Day. <laughs> it's fine. We just went on a beautiful walk. It was gorgeous outside. And now we're going to do all the studying. Actually, we studied well on the walk. Okay. So, big brain. We're gonna study a little. It's 9.40 p.m. Whoa. The night before my exam. And I'm stressed. But that's okay. Good morning. It's 6 a.m. and it's gym time. The exam is over. I got, drum roll please, a 41. How'd you do? Oh, I thought you were working on our grades and I just had a heart attack. Oh my god, no. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh my gosh. We, um, most of my friends and I got in the 40s, which is super cool. I went to Bucky's and got sausage on a stick and fudge to make myself feel better. <laughs> We're getting marks tomorrow. <laughs> I had a long night of studying again last night. And now it's 6 a.m. and I'm at the gym to study more. Okay, my workout. <sighs> workout is done, felt great. Um, I've been running a mile and then 
walking at an incline for however long it takes me to review my study material. Um, so I did about an hour of working out today, got through my whole packet, and now I'm gonna go home, make breakfast, make coffee, and continue reviewing before this exam. Yay, the life of the nursing student is very exciting. My AirPods just quit on me right after I finished my run. So that was actually kind of good because then I couldn't be like distracted. I was watching, I don't know if any of my friends or anyone that comes across this video has ever watched her videos, but Gretchen Garotti, Gerotti, I know I say her last name wrong. Everyone says my last name wrong too, so I feel like we could we could bond over that. Um, she's just the cutest little pea, and I have adored her for probably going on, I want to say three years now that I've been like watching her videos, and it's just been really cute to see her, her life kind of unfold. But anyways, I was watching her, and I get so distracted. Like, I totally get sucked in, and I watch for hours, it feels like, and I, um, my AirPods died, and I was like, okay, I guess I have to study now. So then I got a good 40 minute study session in while working out. If, if I can recommend anything to any nursing students or college students in general, if you have like paper formatting for the material that you're going to study, um, and it's not just like on your phone or whatever, please take it to the gym with you and just like get on a treadmill and walk or I like biking and reading through stuff as well like the standalone bikes um it's so good for you it'll help your stress levels and it'll just keep you active instead of like sitting in your dorm or apartment or the library or your major building all day and just feeling like by the end of the day you're exhausted and you're like oh my gosh all I did was sit all day and um, I just would highly recommend doing that and being active while studying because I feel like it helps me rem remember things as well because if I'm doing that I'm less distracted and I, I won't start picking up my phone and getting off topic or if I'm on my computer I won't see like an ad pop up and be like oh shopping H&M sounds great right now um I don't know if anyone relates to that <laughs> but it helps and y'all are probably like Hey sis, you got a 66 on your exam yesterday. Oh, by the way, I got a 66. I don't know if I ever told y'all that I, we got points back. I got 25 points back and still failed, but it's okay, it's not a critical component. As long as my average in the class is passing, I'm, I'll am i be fine. But anyways, um, y'all are probably like, does that really work? Because you failed your exam. Yes, it does. It was just a really hard exam, okay? No one really passes that exam. I mean, some people do, but they're superhuman and I am not. So let's just get that out there. <laughs> I'm gonna go make breakfast. <laughs> that test sucked too. <laughs> I went in like calculated score stuff um, and I needed, I wanted a better grade than I got. But then I went to our grades and the grade for yesterday's exam is now not in our grade book anymore. So if they want to give us more points, I am more than willing to accept that <laughs> if that's what's happening. But it also might be because somebody, um, somebody is sick, I guess, and can't take the exam yet. So maybe they're not going to put the grades in and calculate the stuff until everybody's done. Who knows? Oh well, now on to doing more classwork. Not to be dramatic or anything, but these exams really sucked. So, that's all folks. Um, just, if we could just all pass our exams next time, that would be excellent. It would be excellent. It would be so good for my mental health and my skin. And just in general. <laughs> Anyways, that's all. Thanks for watching this video. Like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. Do what you want, honestly.